Hi guys, it's me again. I know I just posted a video, but I wanted to knock out one more before I go to bed since I do have to work early in the morning. I wanted to do a kitchen gadget video. Uh, just a couple of things around the house that I personally love to use, like favorite knives, toys, stuff like that. The first one is my chef knife. It's regular old 7 inch stainless steel chef knife. Oh, and it's got a full tang and it's just it's a really good knife to have it's a great knife for anybody to start out with and any basically I like mine a little heavy handed I like a weightier knife uh, from the same company that made them and I don't remember what company that was I'll have to go check my knife block is my meat cleaver he's really good through for breaking through bones and like dislocating joints and stuff of carcasses and stuff. I haven't got a chance to use them yet, but believe me, I will. I know a lot of people also use them for like tartar stuff like that because they, again, it's a really weighty, really heavy knife. And if you look, this one is quite a bit thicker than my chef knife. And he's got a little bit more heavy handed feel to it. Moving on to smaller knives, I have two pairing knives that I absolutely love. First one is my German high carbon steel Mercer. This little guy right here. I got him while I was in culinary school and he's been a great knife for me. And I just I really love this knife and it's the Mercer symbol back there. It's a knife and a steel and it's got almost a rubberized handle. Doesn't feel like plastic, you know. And he works really well for pretty much everything. I use it from cheese slicing to peeling potatoes, pretty much anything. This is my absolute favorite paring knife. My second favorite paring knife is my little green knife. I, he's also high carbon stainless steel. It's got a rubber top right up here and then a plastic bottom and it's curved so it fits your hand better. And I haven't used this one as much as my Mercer one, but I will eventually and it's green because green's one of my favorite colors and eventually I want to have an entire green kitchen set you know spoons knives stuff like that eventually at some point or at least enough green to make me happy <laughs> because I love green and speaking of green I have one more knife to show you my Santoku knife now he is all green handle sheath and blade all green from the company Tomodachi 7 inch Santoku knife. See there's the company. There we go. A little bit easier to see. It's a Japanese knife. It doesn't have the curved up. It curves down instead of like a chef knife. And this is really good for the quick chopping motions and also because if you notice it has the little air rivets in it. It makes it easier if you're slicing meat cheese, potatoes, it'll come off of the knife easier. You won't have to sit there and kind of like wiggle and bite it to get it off. I only have three more things to show you. Just like I said, I wanted this to be another really short video to kind of make up for not having a video for so long. Next thing I want to show you is my heat resistant pastry brush. It's clear and see through, dishwasher safe, and it's rubber. Can you hear that? I love that noise. It's so funny. And it's heat resistant up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 degrees Celsius. And I prefer the rubber ones, especially because it's easier to get down into the middle of them and wash them out. The regular paintbrush like ones tend to hold bacteria better and it could end up getting bacteria and mold all over your food. And nobody likes that. <laughs> we don't like moldy food. So I definitely recommend getting a rubber or a silicone spat uh, pastry brush. I said spatula. Pastry brush. And it doesn't have to be rounded like mine is. I know there's a lot of ones that are like the short little square ones. Those work great too. As long as it is rubber. Next thing I have to show you. I haven't got a chance to use him yet. But I definitely plan to. Is my vegetable peeler. I got this as a gift. I think for Christmas actually this past year. I prefer these types of vegetable peelers just because of the way that it is, I guess. It's no really it's not really any different other than cosmetic to a normal vegetable peeler, the ones that are like long instead of wide apart like this. But 
I did a little bit of research and I think on this one you can actually take this out and replace it with a wire kind of like those cheese slicer ones but there's really no point because if you just put this on the edge of your cheese and shave down it does the same thing as one of the cheese slicers so that's why I like this it's nice and versatile works on carrots all kinds of stuff uh, I have used it I think once on chocolate actually I did it on chocolate not any kind of vegetable chocolate I was making a cake and last but very not least is my immersion blender there's the blades for you and this button back here is what detaches it so that you can put this part in either the dishwasher or soapy water because the motor is in this and obviously the cord is attached and you don't want to get that wet and then this button up here is how you control it when it's plugged in I'm not going to plug it in right now because neighbors are trying to sleep and our walls are thin but it's Cuisine Art Smart Stick and it's got the morning label back here and whatnot and it does say press button to detach on it so that you know and I've used this for soups, smoothies, sauces I think I made actually a bechamel with this once if I remember it was bechamel it might have been no yeah it was bechamel sorry I'm trying to remember and wrap up the cord at the same time and I got tangled but that's it for this video. I just wanted to make something besides the video that I just posted. And if you have any, let me know. I was going to say if you have any suggestions, let me know. What I was meant to say was that let me know about some of your favorite kitchen gadgets down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe on this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!